In this video, we are going to answer this. Seven men have seven wives. Each man and each wife have seven children. Question. What's the total number of people? This riddle, by the way, has become one of the most challenging riddles out there. Most of the people are finding it very difficult to solve. This isn't so much of riddle. It's actually more of a math problem. But our answer will differ depending on how we read and understand the question. Is it... Uh, 399? Is it 63? 21? 112? 98? 343? And so on. I will give you three possible answers. Three possible correct answers, which most of you got this. And again, this is depending on how we read and understand the given problem. My answer is 63. This is my answer. But I will also explain how to get 399. And some of you got this 21. Let me explain first how I got this 63. Let's read this. Seven men have seven wives. This can be... One man has a wife. Therefore, seven men have seven wives. Seven men plus seven wives, their wives. That is equals to 14 adults. Then each man and each wife have seven children. Take note, they are talking about same children, their children. So these couples have seven children each. Each. And since we have seven couples, so that is Seven times seven. Each couple has seven children. So seven times seven is equals to 49 children. 14 plus 49 children. 14 plus 49. 49. And that is equals to 63. What's the total number of people? 63. Again, let's do this the simplest way, but only still we will focus on how we get the 63 total. Let's focus first in one family. One man and his wife, they have seven children. So all of them, nine, nine people. Now, there are seven of them, seven men, seven wives. So seven of these, that means nine times seven, that is equals to 63. Now, what if your answer is 399. Seven men, wait, let's read this again. Seven men have seven wives. So therefore, we understand this as each man has seven wives. So seven, each man has seven wives times Seven is equals to 49 wives. 49 wives plus this seven men, that is equals to 56 adults. 
Next, the number of children, okay, again, we consider them couple or one family. The riddle says, each man and each wife have seven children. If a man has seven wives, therefore, each man has 49 children. Take note, each man, one man, has seven wives. Now, each wife have seven children. So, each wife has, have seven children. So, seven times seven, seven children. So, seven times seven, that is equals to 49 children each children each family this is 49 children now the riddle says each man and each wife have seven children again each man think about it we are talking about the same children if this man has seven wives okay if if this man ha has seven wives each wife have seven children that means this man will have 49 children my point here is we cannot consider this answer because it says here each man also have seven children but this man will have 49 children considering that he has seven wives now let's just ignore that 49 children each family there are seven families so 49 times 7 and that is equals to 343 children so 343 children plus 56 adults and that is equals to 399 now how about if your answer is let me just erase this one first how about if your answer is 21 do you think it is correct let's read the problem again seven men have seven wives so we consider that as one man and his wife. So seven of them plus all of the wives, seven wives, that's a total of seven plus seven that is equals to 14 adults. Now, each man and each wife have seven children. If we consider them as couple each man and each wife have seven children meaning one family have seven children that will lead us to again a total of 63 but let's focus how sam got 21. each man and each wife have seven children so this they consider the seven ch children as total of the seven couples. So a couple has a child. There are seven couples. So a total of seven children. So therefore, seven plus 14, and that is 21. Otherwise, the answer to this is 63. Now, which answer do you think is correct? If you have different answer, please comment down below with detailed explanation. Thank you for watching and God bless.